Hey, welcome to another episode of Chaz Reviews. Craig's joining us for a back-to-back -back episode. Back-to-back! -back. I did that the last time I was here, too. Yeah. So. <laughs> I can be your trademark or whatever. <laughs> your catchphrase. Back-to-back! -back. Um, this is a beer I got in a trade with Max Spang from Snobby Beer Reviews, so thanks, Max, for the beer. This Thank is you, the Rivertown Brewing Company Roebling Imperial Robust Porter Ale with Natural Flavors Added. Out of Lachlan, Ohio. I like the description on this, it's very tempting. Brew with imported sweet vanilla beans, cold pressed espresso slash coffee, and raw cane sugars. Like a big chewy vanilla coffee infused brownie, Roebling Porter brings tons of chocolate aroma and docile acidity. As you can see, we're just using little tasting glasses because we gotta split a 12 ounce bottle two ways. And it's it's a pretty big beer, 7.8. Fizzy. Very yeah, it, fizzy. It's fizzing like a soda. It looks like a soda. It does. It looks like like Coca Cola. It's like, it has no. It kept no head whatsoever. I mean, it, it's yeah. Just, whoosh, gone. It's hard to it's hard to generate a head in these little glasses. But I smell the vanilla beans. I smell that coffee in there too. Yeah. I mean that's. It's like Joe Mama's milk stout. Yeah. 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 But that is re yeah. That's very very sweet. I don't smell like roasty or, you know, like roasted malt or anything. I just get like. Coffee and kind of like, it's like it's like coffee and iced coffee at the same time. That's it's iced coffee. That's exactly what that smells like. Oh yeah. wow! Can use a good dessert. Like I was just saying to to Craig off camera. I said that's three golden beers in a row. We need to do something dark. Right. Dark. So, let's try this one. Cheers. It's dark like my soul. <laughs> Wow, that's sweet. It's very sweet and very coffee-ish. Yeah. It's basically like an iced coffee. That's really... Ooh, I'm getting this nice vanilla aftertaste. Yeah, the vanilla is sort of weird because it's... When you... When you... When you... You drink it, it's... It's very, very much coffee up front. And then that vanilla sort of rolls in at the end. Yeah. Yeah, I can see where they're 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 getting the brownie uh, yeah. analogy from. It does have like this kind of yeah brownie aftertaste, like a you got know, like a really hot brownie with like the yeah. little ice cream with the sort of the crust on the top, and you yeah. get that sort of little bit of burnt pieces of the brownie that everybody yeah. loves. The beer is noticeably fizzy though, especially which is weird because it's seven point mm -hmm. eight, I think. Um, so it has like this almost like Coca Cola Pepsi type of carbonation yeah. to it. It's a it's a little distracting for me, I gotta say, that, that amount of fizz. Yeah, and it's a thin mouthfeel. Yeah. It's almost like it's um it's almost like it's over carbonated. Yeah. For this for the like you and like you're saying it's not it's not a heavy beer. It's pretty it's pretty it's pretty light and I, it's just I don't know. I got a tough time getting past that. I look into it and it literally looks like Yeah. Coke. Yeah, and it actually kind of has like this, the first initial, like the first half of the palate is uh, almost like a Coca-Cola or any kind of cola type of sweetness and kind of taste to it. The second half is all coffee. Mm -hmm. And then like the aftertaste is like this really slowly developing nice kind of vanilla slash fudge kind of taste to it. I don't know about all robust. I mean, when I think robust... Like it's not like a southern tier blackwater series. It's no. more like a or or like like Smutty Nose does their robust porter, which is like right. I mean, it is so roasty and so thick that I, I and I and I really think the carbonation and the mouthfeel on this are working against this. Yeah, beer. yeah. You know, very very thin. There's a there's a savoriness to this too. Yeah, you know what I mean. There's sort of that. I don't know if it's maybe some of the darker malt coming through. Mm -hmm. um, after the swallow and sort of, you know, I get that sort of soy sauce quality to it. Yeah, Never sort of, like like in the, like a really residual light bitter aftertaste. Yeah. Like you said before, I think the carbonation is actually working against it because it's kind of scrubbing your tongue clean. Mm -hmm. It should be a thick, sticky, cloying beer. Um, maybe they didn't go big enough. I mean, 7.8. That's pretty big for a porter, but I mean, you could obviously go bigger for a stout. Well, I, you know, uh, 
I think you're exactly right by saying that that the carbonation is working against it because I don't. I think it would be a sweeter, more cloying, almost dessert-like beer if it weren't for that sort of fizziness. That that that. I mean, it's just it it wipes it all away. Yeah. Afterwards, yeah. and you're just kind of left with this weird aftertaste. You have to pay attention to it. I mean, I can. I really enjoy that second half with all that coffee, and the the subtle vanilla bean aftertaste, and like, you know, kind of like what you said. It's it's like an aftertaste you'd have of like having a, a nice kind of really rich dessert at a like yeah. cheesecake factory or something like that. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, you know, it should be, you know, it should be thicker. It should be stickier. I mean, or. Like, they could have went, if they could have this taste in, like, a smaller body, like a, you know, 5%, yeah, then it would be a, you know, more sessionable type. And, you know, I don't I don't mind a thin porter either. Right. I mean, like, as opposed... Which I mean, they're that's, supposed to be. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind that sort of thin, thin porter quality. But if you're going to sell this as vanilla bean and espresso and, right. you know, the sugars brownies. and everything and the brownies... You know, I kind of it, there's it, it's just it's lacking some substance too. You know, yeah. it's got it's got the it's got the ABV. It just doesn't have the right. It's just not very satisfying right. when it comes to the actual flavor and the yeah. actual. I mean, I like the taste on this. Yeah, it's not it's not a bad beer. It's yeah. just it was sort of misrepresented a little bit. <laughs> it makes it hard to rate. I mean, I I'm kind of split again. I'm kind of split between a seven and eight, but I think I would go seven on this because it it's definitely good. I really like the taste. I'm like noticing a lot of things that could be different, or I just don't I don't care for in the beer. It has really no off-putting qualities at all, except that it's like, you know, remarkably fizzy for such a strong porter. But I think seven is is a fair grade for See, this. See, I'm gonna go a little lower. I'm gonna I'm gonna go at like like a like a six, maybe pushing the seven. I I just think it's too. Like a shrug and a thumbs up, you know. Yeah, like I I, ju I really just think it's too thin for yeah f to try to carry that all those flavors. Yeah. Um, thanks to Craig for joining us for this review, and thanks to you guys for watching. Thanks, to Chad, for having me. Yep. And I don't have any beer left, so cheers, anyways. Cheers, a little tiny bit. <laughs> Bye.